Well, here I am, guys, in Talabadra Valley. This gentleman has asked me to explain to him, or give him some information, on how I can make his house a little bit more snake resistant. Obviously, it's impossible to make it 100% snake proof. Look at what he lives next door to. And he's got a creek down there, most beautiful part of the world. But guess what? He has wasted a little bit of money here, and he's been over backwards trying to make his house snake proof. The best thing he can do is 90% of his property he's done this. See this really fine snake oil? See this stuff? A snake can get through a hole one third the girth. This is what three or four mil holes and he's run it down into the ground and his cable tied it to his fence and then he started growing nice, um, what do you call it? Passion fruit vines. Sure, green tree snakes are going to climb over, brown tree snakes are going to climb over, carpet python is going to climb over, but he's got two little Scottish Terriers that he loves dearly and he does not want them to get bitten. This is 99.9% going to stop most terrestrial snakes. All the venomous stuff, red bellies, small eyed, eastern browns, all of those guys, they'll come up, they'll bump into that, they'll turn around and they'll piss off back to the creek. So guys, what is it? 136 bucks a roll for what, 30 meters? What is your dog's worth, life worth that? That's all you need to do. You don't need to spend thousands on these snake repellers, this fine wire. See how he's running around his property? He's just asked me and begged me for the best information. And I said, dude, you've done 80% of your property. Do the other 20% and you'll have no problems. Or a lot less problems.